owned the U.S. full-size van business for decades with its E-Series offerings and, as a consequence, was a bit behind some other manufacturers in offering Euro-style full-size boxes. Mercedes, Tramp, and Nissan all were established players with the new type by the time Ford's big transit strolled onto the scene for the 2015 model year. But being a little late to the starting gate doesn't seem to have diminished Ford's robust van business the company still leads the commercial van sales race by a healthy margin and the transit seems to have been well worth the wait. It's offered in multiple sizes to wheel bases and three roof heights with three engine options, including a diesel. Ford offers single and dual wheel rear axles and the choice of either cargo van or passenger passenger wagon versions. The latter is available in four seating configurations capable of accommodating between 8 and 15 occupants. Our test unit was a mid-roof, long wheelbase 350 passenger wagon XLT, meaning it was nearly 6 feet in interior height from the floor to the ceiling if you need to transport basketball players. The high roof version adds 9 more inches. Who has the need for a van such as this? Pole vault squads. Flight fit.